Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show how to smoke peppers for the dehydrator. Okay, so, so I washed my peppers. I'm going to destem them, cut them in half, and then I'm going to place them in uh, these little aluminum cooking pans, the baking pans. And what I'm going to do first though is take a knife and just poke some holes in these. I've got three. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up two with holes and keep one without holes and that way I can have something solid to put them in when I'm bringing them back in so they don't drip everywhere. So I'll do that real quick. This allows some of the smoke to kind of flow through. And we'll go ahead and Fill these with peppers and we'll put them on the grill. Okay, so, um, so these are my Bijalukia crossed with a sugarish peach and this is a Thai cross that I made, or Thai dragon cross. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how the uh, grill set up. Okay, so I've got some charcoal burning. I'm not going to use all of this for the smoking. I'm going to actually use some of it to grill some food, but so that's almost, that's pretty much, that's pretty much ready to go. So what I'm going to do is, um, Basically, I'm mean, going to kind of like an indirect method. I'm going to have the charcoal on one side and the chips and the peppers on the other side elevated a little higher. So on the on the bottom part, I'm going to take this aluminum foil, poke some holes in it. This is mainly to um, just keep the, all the wood chips from falling through. And I kind of build a little... Thing like that. So I'm going to put my briquettes there, throw my wood chips on top, lay the grate down, and I'll put my peppers on the other side. And also um, I've got the uh, bottom vent choked down so there's like just a little bit of gap on there. And on the top lid I have it choked down as well so there's like maybe 3 16 of an inch there so that so it doesn't um, basically keep the charcoal from getting too hot too fast. So I'm not really going to be cooking the pepper so much as just adding a smoke flavor. Also I want to throw out a just quick disclaimer. I'm not an expert at this. I know there are a lot of folks who are experts at grilling and smoking and um, I welcome your comments. This is just how I do it so there's probably better ways but this this works for me and I'm not really trying to s slow cook the peppers. I'm just trying to give that smoke flavor and aroma. So this, uh, so I'm not going to uh, smoke them for very long, maybe 30 minutes, and not going to need much uh, charcoal or wood chips to do this. So let's go ahead and get this set up, and we'll lay the peppers down and get started. So that's probably really all I need. Just taking some apple wood. You can use whatever kind you want. Some people will like soak theirs and all this, but you know, for this purpose, it's not really necessary. Um, probably don't even need this much, but yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna lay my grate down. Peppers. Oops. Lost Okay. Trying to keep these on the end. It's not really get too hot. That's fine. See, I've got that choked down. There's there's not a whole lot of gap, so that should be good. So I'm just going to let this go for about 30 minutes or so. Okay, these have been out here for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. And these will drip after they've been out here. Especially if you if you started with frozen pods, they'll really be dripping. That's why we have this solid pan to put underneath. Add a little extra stability as well. Let me go ahead and get these inside and we'll put them on the dehydrator. Okay, so now I really just, um, just place these on the dehydrator tray. 
It'll fit better if you can spread them out, but if not, no, it'll be fine. And now I add my other peppers here. I just run these for, and this this is a cheap um, Presto dehydro dehydrator that's not adjustable. You just plug it in, and let it go. I think it heats to like 165 degrees as the operating temp. But I usually let it run um, with the ambient temperature being relatively warm. It takes about 36 hours to get a good cracker dry. So yeah, so we'll get this going, and I'll show you how it looks when it's ready. Okay, so the peppers are done. Left them in the dehydrator for about 48 hours. Probably longer than I needed, but I just wanted to make sure they're dry. That's how they look. And I'll probably uh, vacuum seal a bunch of these. But I'll probably make some flakes out of them too to use in the short term. So um, yeah, I've used this method a lot and it works very well. And um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.